Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Salvador Gomes. I am a character artist working for games and collectible toys. And a friend of mine here on YouTube asked me how do I uh, make my render here inside of ZBrush. Uh, my main goal here is be as quick as possible when I'm doing my render here. It's nothing special, it's just a simple stuff. So I'm gonna try to share with you how do I make that. So I have here on my left side, I have the lights here that I can control the position of the light. Th this icon here is on top of uh, here, lighting, as you can see, light. You can just position, make a, uh, put it in a position. And also we have a material here. So I use base materials, nothing special. And I put my light here and I come to render and I use best, best preview render. Once it's done, you can just uh, go here in document and export. And then I use to make a two path more. It's like I use Framer, as you can see here. Framer is 01, is that one. And then I just, uh, this one is just, I don't use uh, best preview, it's just a preview normally. And then I come here to uh, document and export as well. The last one is uh, basic material 2, that one. So in that case here, just click once on the light here, just once to send the light uh, to the back of the model here. And then I just place it like that. The idea here is like make like a ring light. And I'll go here in light and then increase this light strength here, the intensity. Just to make like strong. And also export that one. Just click here, export and save your file. And then uh, you jump into uh, uh, Photoshop. I'm going to just share here my photoshop screen like just a second so i have now you can see and i open those files here in photoshop and i have the render of the the best preview render by the way i have color on it you know sometimes i just put a base color to help the uh the contrast and i have here first one is the ring light in the ring light i go here and choose uh, color dot. Yeah, color dot is okay. And in that one, it looks like I don't know if you can see. Looks like ambient occlusion, as you can see. And then I use to go uh, and use. Let's see. Uh, use. Um, sometimes I use hard light or soft light. It depends of the fact that you would like to have and I think it's going to be for soft light and then you can just turn yeah the soft light works very well and then after that I just use some mask I create a mask for both layers and I just erase something that I don't like for example here on my ring light as you can see so I have some lights here that I don't like and then I just use the just erase some things that I don't like for example on his face I don't like those lights here and then I just erase and also uh, let's see here also those lights here I don't know if I can keep that I actually gonna just erase these, I don't like that one as well. This one here, I think, no, I don't like as well. Yeah, just here is something that you, that you think that shouldn't be there. For example, those lights here inside of the cave doesn't make sense. And that's it. And for that one, the ambient occlusion one. So, and then I go here on his face mainly because I want to see his face I don't want to be dark on his face uh, I think it's pretty well, it's, it's okay and for last 
last touch that I use here, I go to um, and create a a vibrance. I come here and create a vibrance, and you can see. And then I decrease saturation because I I want to show just the statue. Like I want to just show the model without color. To I don't want to have any distraction like with color. Sometimes you cannot see how is the model and here in vibrance I use to decrease as well it depends of the, the if I want a less dark or if I want a more like cont con contrast I think gonna be like around here and that's it and then you can just save and, and show your model so the main idea here is just be as quick as possible I don't wanna like spend too much time doing this this kind of render you know like i want to go as fast as possible also i used to render inside of maya using arnold uh, if you'd like to see how i i make that inside of arnold please leave your comments below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please give me your thumbs up as well it helped me a lot to motivate and make more videos i'm um, i'm making a series of videos with tips and tricks so I'm, I'm doing Portuguese guys and um, if you like to see me doing English as well please just let me know and I'm gonna like make all those videos that I made in Portuguese also I can make in English just let me know if you wanna see that thank you very much guys I hope to see you next